smoke from historic western wildfires is choking cities like Seattle and San Francisco, but it is also clouding skies across the nation. Both the northern and southern jet streams, rivers of fast-moving air in the upper atmosphere, are transporting that smoke from coast to coast, creating worries for those with lung conditions. And we start getting lots of calls from people that are impacted, whether they're nearby or farther away, asking us what they need to do um, when they see the smoke and when they see the haze. Angela Tin is the American Lung Association's National Senior Director for Environmental Health. She says that while the air quality here in the Midwest isn't terrible, since we're about two to 5,000 feet away from the actual smoke, there are still reasons for people who are sensitive to the smoke and air pollution to be concerned. So while the normal person could perhaps see the haze and just acknowledge it, sensitive people have to be careful and they have to stay inside, they have to protect themselves. She says those with anxiety should be extra cautious and watch for daily alerts. There are, you know, air quality monitors and there are air quality alerts that go out there. And um, in St. Louis and Chicago, um, we're sometimes hitting the yellow area, but we've not reached the red or higher. Red means a forecast for unhealthy air, where members of sensitive groups may experience more serious health effects. Daily air quality forecasts are available from the Missouri Department of Natural Resources and the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. Look for links to both with this story on the Fox 2 website and our mobile app. I'm meteorologist Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.